Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable PDF using Canva. This is an amazing free resource to create fillable digital products to sell on Etsy, to sell in your online website. You can uh, use it to create opt-in freebies for your website and email list, as well as just being a great tool to use if you want to make your own fillable PDFs like planners and calendars. So today I'm going to be creating a fillable goal planner sheet and the finished product will be available to download for free and I'll link the planner in the description box below. So if you'd like that, uh, go ahead and click the link and you can download the planner that I've made today. All right, let's get started. So I've logged onto Canva and I only use the free, uh, the free Canva option. I know that they have a premium option that you pay, I think monthly for, but I've always done really well just being able to use the free, the free platform that they offer. So I've logged on and over here you can you know, create a design, look at templates, have your folders, but I'm going to go over here to custom dimensions and I'm going to make my new design as an 8.5 by 11 inch design. So this would be really easy to print on standard printer sheet at, at home. I'm gonna press create a new design. I don't like how zoomed out that is, so I'm going to zoom it into 50%. And I am going to use one of their templates at first and then adjust it the way that I want it. So I'm going to use this one. So I want to make a goal planner sheet. And uh, it's something I, I make every day. I, I make lists of the things I want to accomplish each day and even lists for the week or lists for the month so that I kind of can stay on track for what I would like to get done. So this one I thought was really cute. So seize the day, Eleanor's daily planner. I'm probably going to, um, before I edit those, I do want to get rid of these and add in my own background images. So if you would like to add your own background images when you are creating on Canva, you would go down to uploads and then you'd upload an image or video by clicking this. However, um, the images that you use or the, the clip art that you use um, is going to, you're going to need to have the creative license to use them to sell if you are planning on selling them on Etsy or an online store. So these clip arts that I have uploaded, I did buy on Creative Market and I have um, a creative or a commercial license, sorry, commercial license to use them to sell. But this planner today is going to be free to download and I think I would like to use this one. So let's see. I want to delete that and then add that in here. And it's all wonky. So to, oops, anyways, I want to oh, rotate it. I want to rotate it, but I also want it to be behind. So. I want it to be behind this box. What I'm gonna do is right click it and send to back. So now it's behind there and I'm going to do the same up here. I'm just going to drag another one in, rotate it. I might wanna resize these. I don't know if they're showing up how I want them to. Actually, I might add one here and then send to back at oopsie oops 
How do I undo that? Sometimes when you're doing it, it will kind of, the whole image will turn really large and attach to the whole background and that's not what I want to do. So I'll just bring it up here. Oopsie. Send to back. Ah, okay, did it again. Why won't you let me? Okay, there we go. Rotate it. Actually, I want to flip this one so it's mirroring, I think. Flip. There we go. So if you have an image that you need to be facing the other way, just mirror it. You just press flip and click which way you'd like it flipped. And send you back. Delete that one. So these don't look very even, but why? Okay. Flip again. Okay, so a little more information about these, you know, at a editable, oh, sorry, not editable. So the file that we're making today is actually going to be fillable. So what that means is that um, these little boxes are going to be able to be typed, typed in. So when the person that you're giving them to receives the file, they'll be able to open it up in whatever PDF reader that they have. And then they'll be able to just fill in the boxes that we choose. So they won't be able to change the title. They won't be able to move the flowers or anything. They'll only be able to use it as a planner as they would. So they can either print it and write or they can fill it and type it in with some neat writing if that is what they like to do okay this side looks not very i think i need to do that okay so we have that and i like the background i'm going to Actually, do I like the background? Let me see. I think... Okay, yeah, that's fine. I didn't love, I kind of wanted it to be more. I might move this one to the front. Well, that's kind of... Let's see. And then I'm going to add one more up here. Just going to arch it down right there. Okay, I like that better. So I'm going to adjust this or I'm going to fix the writing here. I'm just going to say, hmm. I'll probably just say oh why won't it let me move oh there oh so now that's too big oh maybe goal planner goal planner maybe daily goal planner weekly we'll just leave it at goal as at oh my gosh my words we'll just leave it as goal planner right now and then down here i'll say 
Oh, that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll put... Okay, it's not a big deal. I'll just put here... Daily Planner. Okay. So right here, I want to put my... My goals. This one's going to be... Daily checklist. So those, so my goals, I usually write down like one or two main goals that I need to get done in the day. Daily checklist are just a bunch of things that we're gonna do. Okay, so daily checklist. Maybe we'll put here my big goals. My daily checklist so these are the things that you really need to get done that day and then notes to self okay so we have the goal planner the way we are going to download it is as a pdf standard so this is a small file size i just want to keep it small you can um, use it as a high quality multi-page document but it's fine to use it as a PDF standard. I'm going to download it. And now we're going to go over to this website called PDF Escape, and I will link it in the description box as well. So this is a free, another free resource, and this is where we go to now make the PDF fillable. So I'm just going to choose my file. So now it has opened up my goal planner. Now you can see it over here. And now we are going to figure out how to make these squares an area that people can type in. So the way you do that is you go over here to form field and there are different options that you can choose. So it says text, text paragraph, checkbox radio, drop down list box, reset button, submit button. I wanna do text paragraph so that people have more, so that it stays in that one box for people to fill. And all you have to do is click and drag and it's going to already create that box for you. And you just, I'll show you one more time. I'm gonna do text paragraph again, press select. I'm going to start at one of the corners, drag it, and then unclick at the next one. I'm going to do it one more time on this big box. Okay, and so this is all you need to do. It didn't actually change it green, as you can see over here. It's still going to be the same color. So now we're going to, over here, we're going to download it. So you go over here. I think this one is save. This one is download. This one is print. So now I believe it will let me open it up right now. Oh, it says go old planner. But so this is a goal planner. I opened it up and then to check that it's fillable, you type over here. So I clicked on it. I'm able to type it. So my big goals, my daily checklist. So I'll just type my big goals, make a planner, daily checklist. Uh, eat breakfast. So you can just type in what you'd like. All right, and that is how you create a fillable PDF using Canva. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget that you can download this free goal planner following the link in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos like this. All right, thank you.